Yeah. Michael, uh, you guys allow 44 in the first half and then 44 in the third quarter. What was sort of the, the message after that third in terms of just what, what changed uh, defensively and energy-wise? You know, we stopped playing. Yeah, that was a joke. It was embarrassing. You know, um, I, can, I can hear my father who's up in heaven. I hope he's up in heaven. But every time we get a big lead, he said it. You guys are the same old nuggets. For nine years now, you get a big lead, stop playing, stop doing what got you the lead, and you let teams back in almost every single night. So I, I, I could, my father was right here tonight talking to me, saying, I told you so, and I uh, was really proud of our approach to start the game. I mean, again, I, the way we approached this game uh, to build a 39-point lead was outstanding. Unfortunately, coming out of the half, uh, we did not do anything remotely close to what we did in the first half to get that lead. And uh, to never, that, that's a learning lesson for us. Don't get bored with success. And uh, you know, to allow 44 points in, a, in a, a third quarter, 63 from the field, five turnovers, six offensive rebounds. Like, they're pros, man. They're going to keep playing. And we stopped playing. Uh, I felt that bench unit in the fourth quarter, uh, they at least played with a little bit more conviction. And, um, and we were able to pull away, you know, once they cut it to 14. But uh, we'll take the win. You know, uh, we've been struggling within our division, so now we're six and five in our division. We're eight and one out of the break. We have 18 games to go. But you know, it's all about creating habits. In that second half, we did not create good habits. So does tonight leave you more frustrated than satisfied with the result? I'll take a win all day. I mean, uh, this. Uh, an ugly ass win is better than a pretty loss. So I'll take the win, but I'm not going to let this slide and say this is acceptable. And, uh, you know, again, it, for me, it's like, hey, oh, he scored 142 points. That doesn't matter. We did not build the habits that we need in that second half. And uh, in our starting five, they, as veterans, have to be a lot better than they were tonight. And I, I was talking to a DeAndre Jordan walking out, and I said, I'm really nervous about us because we, we, we're gonna, guys are gonna go away from what we did to get the lead, and that's exactly what happened. So, uh, but, you know, I'm not gonna, you, you never are disappointed with a loss. This is a wins and loss business, so we gotta win tonight at a very pivotal time of the year. But I am not, you know, uh, just going to accept how we played. We have to be better. We have to hold ourselves to a much higher standard. What can you say about the way that the production was dispersed tonight? The uh, dispersal was great. 39 assists, um, I think we had 30 fast break points. I love how, how fast we're playing, Katie. Uh, going into tonight's game, out of the break, we're averaging over 20 fast break points per game. That's been a, a real, real positive for us. Um, and everybody was involved. I mean, we had, what, six guys in double figures. Everybody contributed. Um, but once again, you know, this game should never have gotten as close as it did. Give them credit for making their run. You know they're going to make a run at some point. Uh, but, you know, it shouldn't have gone from 39 to 14. Coach, I know Christian Brown fouled out in this game, but he gave you guys a lot of good minutes. Just Can't wondering. take him with you. I like it. <laughs> Can't take him with you. What, what do you say about his game and the way that he's sort of turned things around here? Yeah, well, I think he's been playing well for a while now. You know, and uh, I think just kind of for him, it's getting back to being who you are. You know what I mean? Like being the best Christian Brown. And that means aggression. That means physicality. That means attacking. That means rebounding. I mean, tonight, 13 points, uh, four rebounds. And I don't mind the fouls because they were physical fouls. It's one thing if it's ticky-tack, reaching, soft fouls. I felt he was fighting. Picked up a couple in the post, fighting after switching. So uh, I, I, five of five from the field. Shot the three ball with great confidence, no hesitation. Goes three of three. So a really complete game for CB and, uh, and happy for him. Have you noticed any difference in Jamal Murray post All Star and the way that he's played with that team? Um, I don't know. You know, tonight 37, seven assists, one turnover, two steals. Uh, he had it going early, and I thought he was pivotal, pivotal in that fourth quarter with that second unit, taking a 14-point game and extending it back out. And uh, you know, so now we didn't have to go to our starters right away, and we never went to him, except we got Nicole in for a cup of coffee there in the fourth quarter. But uh, no, Jamal's got a, you know, he's got a great demeanor, confident, poised, and uh, you know, we're doing a little bit differently now. We get Reggie in, 
But now when I get Jamal back in, I'm, taking, I'm putting him in for Reggie. So Reggie's getting shorter stints, but that's allowing me to get Justin Holiday in the game. And I think Justin Holiday needs to be in the game. And, uh, and so now you know, Jamal loves taking ownership of that unit. And, um, and that's what I see. I think he's just finding ways to make all the guys around him better. You talk about 18 games left in the process. What does that look like to you? I'm assuming quantifying X number of wins, X number of losses. It, it is a process of what you want this team to look like come April 17th. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, and, and I know it's this is coaching cliche 101, but we really are taking this as one game at a time. And within those games, we may make subtle changes to lineups, to rotations to trying different things defensively, trying different things offensively, to see what we can use in the postseason. Um, you know, going into tonight, again, we were 7-1. I think we had the fourth-ranked defense, the fourth-ranked offense since the All-Star break. And tonight, obviously, the defense took a step back. So going into Toronto, I want us to get back to playing defense. Regardless of the scoreboard, I want to play defense for 48 minutes because that's what it's going to take once you get to the playoffs. No matter who you play in the first round, it's going to be a hell of a challenge. The West is so damn deep and talented, um, you know, we, we can't afford to think we can just flip a switch when we want to guard and we don't want to guard. That's going to be our constant. That has to be our anchor. One more? Anything else? All right. Appreciate it. Thank you.